Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to make your search more effective by using search limiters. And if you noticed, I'm not on the learning comments page yet. And that's because I want to show you how limiters work on other pages. For example, I want to find blue teeth earbuds, but I also have some other qualifications. So to start, I'm just going to search for blue tooth earbuds to see how many results I get. Over 9,000, that's too many. So if I have too many, I want to limit that down. And these handy little things over here are our limiters. So I know I want 50 to 100. And I also know that I want them to be active noise canceling. And I also want voice control. Now I only have 12 results, which is great. But as I'm looking through, I start to see these over here headphones. So let's see if we can take those out. I only want the in-ear variety. So that takes us down to six results. So what we've done here, by using these handy little limiters on the side, so we've specified what we want from this site. And this works the same on Zappos and a lot of other websites as well. So now that we know that, and I think you're probably familiar with that concept, let's go over to the Learning Commons page and I'll show you how it works with our databases. From the Learning Commons page, if you scroll down to Need to Find Library Sources, and then scroll down again to search one of our databases, Today we're going to look at the general research databases. So this is the general research section and this is Academic Search Complete, which is a great place to search because it covers a lot. Now when that screen went black, that is probably when you will have to put your username and password in if you are searching off campus. So now we are in the database. Now we're going to pretend I have an assignment and for my assignment I have to provide three peer reviewed sources on human gut health. Gut health has been a popular thing recently and has been related to other health concerns. So we want to know more about that. So I'm going to put that in and you'll notice that there are some items that drop down that already help you limit your search just like you would on any other website. One very crucial thing is the use of the full text limiter. This is another limiter that you can use off the bat. If you do not select this, you will get items called abstracts. And those abstracts are not full articles. So to just take those out and only get full text articles, make sure you click this box. And if you miss it, it is also available right here. So for my search, I got 155 results, which is still quite a bit, but not bad. We can do better. Since this is something that is a bit date sensitive, we want the most current information. I'm going to go ahead and limit this and get the most current five years of information. And just put 2017. You can also use this little slider. And that takes it down to 106. Not bad. I also know that I want it to be peer reviewed. That takes it down to 102. So from there, I have a much better selection to look at. A couple of quick tips for you in this video today. I want to point out if you have the option between HTML and PDF full text, choose the PDF full text because that is exactly how it appears in the publication. So the page numbers are correct for your in-text citations. I also want to mention this little pop-out right here it has some helpful options. You can save it to your Google Drive, print it, you can email it to yourself or someone else, you can use this to get the basis for a citation. You must check the citation to make sure it's correct first. So there can be errors. You can also generate a permalink that you can send to an instructor or you can save in a document. Do not use this link up here because this is a temporary link. You want 
the permalink, which is the little chain here. So we have looked at limiters and how to narrow down a search and make it more manageable. If you have any questions, my name is Julie Howe, and my email is J-U-L-I-E dot H-O-W-E at kctcf.edu. And please let me know if you have any questions at all. Happy to help. So we will see you next time.